Y'all remember that um, ad where uh, where uh, uh, the uh, oh Rick Perry, where Rick Perry came out and uh, talked about how um, he was not ashamed to admit that he's a Christian, and also hated gay people, and also um, thought Obama was uh, ruining America. You remember that ad? Oh, and also that um, kids can't celebrate Christmas. Openly. Openly. Openly, of course. They can do it in... Uh, like, the attic. Like Anne Frank in the attic. Uh, so, it turns out that the... That Republican pollster uh, and Rick Perry staffer was a guy named Tony Fabrizio. And it turns out that the Republican gay group GOP Proud, um, which I guess theoretically could also be GOP Deluded, but that wouldn't work out as well. Uh, they decided to out Tony Fabrizio because he is working for a virulently anti-gay candidate, or at least one who is trying to capitalize on anti-gay sentiment to further his political career. Now, I applaud these guys. Um, but uh, don't they realize that they are working for a, an entire party that is supportive of an anti-gay agenda? I mean, if you out, You know, GOP Proud issued a statement saying Tony Fabrizio is not the victim here. Tony Fabrizio has lined his pockets for years with money from gay groups and is now one of the chief architects of a campaign strategy, not just an isolated television ad intended to demonize gay people in order to score political points. You support a party that tries to score political points by demonizing gays. So by your own definition, your own standard, and I don't blame you, if, I, uh, if, if there was a Democrat candidate who was going on air talking about, you know, the Jews run the media, and I saw his chief of staff or his pollster or whoever at Shul that weekend at Shabbat services, I, I would be the first to out that dude. I think outing is perfectly legitimate in this situation. But do you not see <laughs> that you're engaged in virtually the same behavior except for you're out about it? The behavior that he's engaging in that you think deserves outing. The problem you have is him pushing an anti-gay, uh, being part of an, a political organization because he said he did not support the ad but was unable to prevent its release. That doesn't surprise me. Of course. Matt doesn't have the ability to stop me from saying something. He works for me. I'm sure Tony Fabrizio works for, um, for Rick Perry, but they're saying you should not be part of a campaign that has an anti-gay agenda to score political points. Well, as members of the Republican Party, you're part of a party that uses an anti-gay agenda to score political points. Of course, that's not the, um, the best part of the story. The best part of the story is that Andrew Beitbart resigned from the board of that organization um, because for him, who has made an entire career supposedly exposing the personal hypocrisy of liberals, right? I mean, is there anything that Andrew Breitbart has not, who professes to be an expert in other than the hypocrisy of liberals? Well, he thinks it's inappropriate to call out the hypocrisy of someone who works for, I mean, just, this is like an Escher painting of hypocrisy. One hip um, hypocritical uh, moron lambasting other hypocritical morons for lambasting another hypocritical moron. You all belong together. 
in one big party. You deserve each other. Unbelievable, unbelievable story. Just an unbelievable story. The pot calling the kettle black, calling the pan black, the iron pan black. It really what it is is the color black calling the color black black calling the color black black black. 